Hey everybody and welcome back to Art Cart in the Park brought to you by the Coos Art Museum. For our first week of Art Cart in the Park, we're going to be talking about pointillism. Now what is pointillism? Back in the 1800s, an artist named George Surratt came up with an art form called pointillism. If you look at a picture created with pointillism from far away, it seems like pretty much any normal picture. But step in a little closer and you'll notice that those beautiful colors are just a bunch of dots. Pointillism. If you already have your art cart in the park art kit, say that five times really fast, then these are the supplies that you'll find inside. First, you'll find a picture of a tree with branches, but no leaves. You'll also have three or four different containers of paint. Now this is acrylic paint, so you don't want to get it on your clothes, but it will wash off your hands. Also, you'll find a handful of Q-tips. Instead of paint brushes, we're going to use these Q-tips to create small little dots to make our picture. Now the fun thing about this is that you can layer the colors up on top of each other. So I'm going to start with the background. I'm going to use the blue for the sky. I don't want to put a ton of paint on my Q-tip. I can re-dip as much as I want to, but if I use a lot of paint, it's going to get gloppy and smudgy and smeary. So just enough to create some nice little dots. You can also vary your dots. Don't have them in a row, but have some clustered closer together and some farther apart. Now, like I said before, you can mix and match your colors. Just use a different Q-tip for each color so that you're not getting always brown. Because fun fact, if you mix all these colors together, yeah, you're probably going to get brown. As I layer my green dots on top of the blue sky, you'll begin to see the leaves of the tree beginning to unfold. I'll also add some green dots below for some grass. But I don't want it just to be one shade of green. Let's go back in with some other colors to add a little bit more variety. For me, I'm going to add yellow on top of my green, which is going to give it a light green appearance. Remember, we're not mixing these colors together. By creating a yellow dot and a green dot close together, I'm getting a light green when I stand back a little ways. You can use yellow and red close together and you'll get orange, or red and blue together to get purple. If you didn't have a green paint, you could put yellow and blue together and from far away, they'll look green. So have fun adding dots to your artwork to see what it creates. After you finish your tree, try out some different images. Take a coloring book page and try to use pointillism to color that. Now, if you run out of paint or maybe you didn't get an art kit, you can always use your markers and just use tiny little dots to create your pointillism. I hope you enjoyed our first week of Art Cart in the Park and I would love to see what you're creating. So have your parents tag us in their social media posts. So until our next art cart in the park, stay creative.